Uh, dear students, uh, we are coming to a small sample of SRT session. What is SRT session? We do talk about situation reaction test and uh, we're going to talk about what is it all about? What do they want to know? See, situation reaction test exposes the kind of personality, the kind of behavior, the kind of reaction, the kind of thought process you hold. I don't know if you remember the old story of Kalidasa when he had gone to a court and he had a discussion with some wise person. They had talked in indications, but the interpretations were different. Where the, uh, the wise lady who had raised five hands to say the five elements of life and Kalidas had interpreted that you are showing me slap and they had said that I'll, I'll give you a knock and what was interpreted by the wise lady the wise lady had interpreted that all these five elements when they become together then the body comes so sometimes when situation is shown to you with ambiguity they allow you interpretations of your own kinds and those interpretations speaks of your wisdom and your thought so now there were two different characters but they were expressing different things they were things different yes or no yes so similarly in every srt's there is a way we interpret you and your answers reflect you you have to identify what is the right approach. What is the right approach? Is it me who is going to define? No. If your wisdom is alive, you will define. What am I here for? I am here for helping you to keep your wisdom alive while answering. Rather than answering for the sake of answering. There is a full chance if you learn answers and at that point of time you will not remember them or you will not be able to take the right decisions immediately just because you may get a little perplexed, confused. So it is very important for you that you need to remember that very right. If you do that, things are going to be fine. If you don't do that, things are not going to be fine. Is it clear? Remember this. Now here we will begin with the first SRT which is during the examination days. He had studied till late in night. He was just about to doze off in cries of fire and health his disease. Now examination days, yeah, that means our self-interest is heavily involved. And we find an emergency. Now there are some people who are very selfish at that point of time they tend to ignore others, but that is not the spirit of team. In those emergency, in those situations also, they have to think of that emergency. So if a person has this, that in spite of the examinations, the person rushes up. That is the right approach. Yes. After all, it's a matter of life and death. So if some people have this thought process, no, I'm not going anywhere because I've got my things to do. Not understood. Why? Because of that reason. So you have to understand this. Like during the examination days, he had studied till late night, he was just about to close off. So I have, though I have given you the answer, but I want to explain you why this answer has been given. As he realized that there is fire nearby, he will alert family, neighbors and rush and help control fire. Save people, call fire brigade if needed and after situation is managed, Return home, take rest and give exam the next day. Sounds wonderful, but is it something which everybody should write? No. You have to frame it in your language. But before you frame it in your language, you need to understand why. The reason is that if there is fire, you should realize that it's an emergency. It requires an extra effort. In spite of your exam, you're just going to sleep. You Call out the sleep because something is more important. And let me tell you, people with strong mind 
with right stamina with right sense of duty with right sense of responsibility are always 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 more responsive and always take emergencies properly they react rightly they don't start complaining oh it was very uncomfortable actually they realize that at that point of time it was required and they do it there are some people who quit for example if you are going in a railway station in a train and the long journey is long and you don't have a reserve ticket there are some people who leave the journey but there are some people who understand that it has to be done so let me do it so some people who focus more on the target of the journey they do it but some people who look at the comfort of the journey quit so we are looking at that quality and that is something which you need to understand there are people who are mugging up sarts mugging up sarts for the sake of mugging up they just mugging up why are you doing that because actually you're not keeping mind fresh you're not keeping it right and so we land into problems not mug up things don't learn things don't remember them as chemical reaction they are natural reactions which you should understand if your psychology is straight you will do better so keep yourself involved understand the gravity of the situation you're growing up you're going from school or college now to a career which is of responsibility so you need to understand that so this is why i want to explain you i'm going to explain you many of them but i am also going to leave rest for you to practice on your own yes in one of the apps we are trying to overload more than 1000 srts so that this way it will help you open up your attitude to sensibility but remember that they will check that if you are learning it no if you are understanding it and you are equipping yourself with wisdom fine so if your wisdom becomes permanent consolidated reasonable logical the wisdom will be per in the will be more stable so always remember that wisdom can be equipped provided you open your gates to the wisdom so remember that that is exactly what the whole purpose of my exercise is all about and i'm sure you will understand and you will do well now we come down to the second situation he happened to visit his uncle in the forward areas when the war started his uncle's bunker was bombed now look at the situation he is gone for a visit and something is up now now they are playing with your mind and your perception there are some people who will believe that okay uncle is gone i will inform auntie that uncle is gone has it been specified no but what is got active your perception and when your perception becomes so overpowering in terms of negative aspects what is the result poor reactions negative so why are you thinking why are you conceptualizing what you have not verified why don't you go step by step to it and be positive about it you come and study if you think negative that you are not going to live long so why are you coming to study so most of you are are positive by nature you are positive but you tend to not understand that positivity is a day to day affair it is a day to day affair everything we do is done with positivity and hope but if you start rushing up just because the situation is there and then you think no no this person is wrong it's wrong because that means you will not be able to react rightly so as bunker is bomb he will rush and give first aid help whatever he can and is told by uncle and others to help in that situation now how do you know that you have to call up this you will do this you will do that maximum you can do is what you should do in the sense of logic common sense rush help people get them out of that bunker so move them to safer place am i right so when you move them to safer place you automatically land up doing that thing properly is it so remember that is it clear or not clear so here we go what i need to make you understand i have already done now in the next situation you can think that this and you should get it into a habit 
Rather, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to tell you to be cosmetically beautiful. Rather, you are already. You just have to knock, knock, knock your heart and remember that you have to be like that. Rather than rushing up and saying something which is wrong. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So go by that. Now we come down to the third one. Though his joke was well meant, his friend became angry and so he. Now, there are so many times when we are positive, but persons perceive others. So what are we going to do? There are one option, ignore. Second option is to slap the person. Why did you misunderstand? Four, third option is to understand that this is human error possibility. And if somebody is felt bad, there's nothing wrong in saying sorry. I always advocate the word sorry for every grown up person because life will make you that humble, beautiful, that you can manage all the idiots, all the psychic, all the frantics. There are many people I know of who don't admit their mistake every time they put the blame on the others. Rather than understanding, yes, I am also wrong. I've done gross errors. I've done blunders. I've mistreated people. Now those mistreated thing is going to burst back. It is better to say sorry. They don't want to do that. Why they don't want to? Because they're false egos. They're living in a fool's paradise. Right? They're developing their own hatred. They're trying to prove themselves right. I have people who I know they're very competitive. You tell them anything, they start competing with you. You talk to them socially, they will start giving some data which are absolutely opposite to you. Very competitive. They are, unfortunately, they, they do not value, respect anyone for that matter. Anyone means anyone. All the time they want to prove themselves superior. I do not know why. Are you wanting to make friends? You want to live happily? Or are you wanting to play a game of competition where you will live alone on the earth and then suffer? So the entire thing about this is very true. It is very, very true that some people, they have negative approaches. They, they just have it. And I'm sure you all people here may not be having as I have already assessed. But still, if you have this highly skewed vision, highly extreme vision, please correct it. You don't have to compete with people. You have to coexist with people. You have to assess people. You have to accept your mistakes. And remember, accepting mistake is the most beautiful part of your personality when you go ahead. So I was teaching you the importance of sorry. What is sorry? Sorry is two words. One, if suppose you did with good intention and others have wronged you and say sorry. I think somewhere I went wrong. Maybe you have done a mistake, say sorry. Third, even if you feel sorry for them, don't you feel sorry for them? That how a bigger idiot the other person is. Yes or no? That I did it for good intention, this person is here competing because they have lived in a well. They have lived with wrong people. They confirm with wrong people. They are with toxic people. They are with manipulative people. They are playing games with their own lives. Nobody else. Yes or no? Suppose you have a useful person and you fight with that useful person. What happens? The useful person will either walk away or probably do the extreme. Or maybe you, out of your jealousy, animosity, kill the useful person. Now what will happen? You will be standing vacant, aren't you? And as a result of what will happen? Then you will regret and then you will have no correction whatsoever. And everybody who knew that was a useful person will also see that you did it wrongly with that person. So they will say, thank you, stay away. Am I right? So always remember being positive is very important. Being valuable is very important. Being humble is very important. Being bonding is very important. And please develop this thought process because then you will become something genuine. Rather than being always competitive. I have always said this is not about competition. It's about cooperative participation. It is about assertive expression. It's not about dominance. If your point becomes the best, there are so many people out of my long experiences whose stories were accepted as conclusion in PPDT, but they were screened out. There are many people who were exclaimed by the group, 
that they were superb, they were dominant, they were taking everybody's proceeding, they had excellent points, they subdued everyone, they were the first winners, but they were never selected. Because you miss the right spirit of camaraderie. And if you don't have it, I'm sorry, in, even in organization, that is why many people will say, I am very talented, but I have not been selected. Why they have not been selected? Because in their talent, they have forgotten that they have to create a team and work in an organization, not I, me, mine, self. You are getting the point, but there are people, unfortunately, they don't realize this. Because, unfortunately, they have lived with some idiots, maybe some wrong in the neighborhoods, maybe their parenting has not been good. The parenting has always been talking of insecurity, supremacy, deceitfulness, cheating. They were, they, maybe the profession has been also of that kind. So, automatically the child learns that. And as a result of which, they learn only to overpower, overthrow. They don't think of something good in their entire life. So, please correct. Please correct yourself. Life is all about presenting yourself nicely. I have always taught you one thing, which regularly all my selected candidates will always tell you, they have never gone to impress people, they have gone to express themselves. So please express yourself. Think logical, think nice, be firm in speaking, don't hesitate in speaking, but don't try to impress others. Don't become a lunatic, where you become, like, you know, I, I just want to give an example. There are some people who are very simple and beautiful. And they do a simple and beautiful decoration and when they get married, they look simple and beautiful. I, I think uh, for the intelligent people, for the wise people, for the right people, it is appreciated. But lately we have a culture in our complete society that for the marriage day, people will look exotic. They try to be so exotic that they are not beyond natural. Of course, looking good is important, but not to that extent that next day, when you wash off your face, the other person runs away with horror. So, remember, this is very important. People are double-faced. They should not be. So, therefore, when somebody feels bad, please be humble to say sorry. In your mind, you can be sorry that this person is not intelligent enough to understand me. In the mind, you can always be sorry that this person is unfortunately poor in the mental sense or is living in a fool's paradise. Say sorry. Again, I remember you must have gone into the religious text of Christianity where Jesus Christ told that, I have let me forgive these people. They don't know what they're doing. Right? You have met so many people, even Vivekananda took a globlet of uh, sort of a semi-poison and he took it because he realized life is not so beautiful that you die for it, fight for it. You should enjoy it, you should celebrate it. But not this competitive that you are going to each other's throat for no reason. You want to be rich? Be it. You want to be sexual? Be it. Let me see after that what you realize. So the entire point is let your wisdom come alive before it. And I know many of you have the right set of wisdom, thanks to your parents, thanks to your teachers. I am here only on a knock, knock, knock exercise. That is why I am going to wake that senses back to action. So if somebody feels bad, your parents must have always said, so sorry, and makes me more careful. And now somebody is unnecessarily feeling bad because they have different perspectives. You know, when you talk something logical, I, I have seen some people are deliberately opposing you in society everywhere. What is the reason you say something technical of psychology or maybe something technical which is suitable to it? They know everything. They want to comment on it, though they are half knowledge, but they want to comment. What is the problem with them? They suffer with the psychological complex in their mind. They suffer with sense of competition. They don't have sense of coexistence. They want to rule for what? That is what they say. Fools only rules on dead bodies. 
Yes or no? So remember this. If you want to become a comrade, captain, champion, officer, you've got to understand this approach very rightly. Is it clear? Yes. So we have given this answer. His friend is angry, you will pacify him by saying sorry for her, clarify what he meant, and so much. Right? He was rather young when his father was killed in the war and his mother kidnapped by anti group. Now they are giving you a lot of focus, a lot of challenges. They are giving you multi tasks. You are young, your father has been killed, your mother has been kidnapped. Right? So step by step, you have to come up with the challenge. Now you can't make excuse, if I'm young, I'll tell my grandpa to take chance. You'll have to take the chance, right? So what will you do? You'll come up. First thing first, his father's been killed, so complete the rituals. And thereafter, with the help of the police, neighbors, friends, relatives, rescue the mother from the anti group. Yes or no? And after she comes back, thereafter, resolve the known situations, help in day-to-day -day working, if studying, study along with earn so that they can support because his father is no more. So all these kind of answers need to be handled. And you can do it right. Now, though we don't want you to ever suffer anything, but I do not know who is destined what kind of suffering. So at that point of time, what is going to function? Your patience, your mind. And then you will be able to resolve that situation. Am I right? So what are you doing? You are basically strong in your mind. You understand that life is something like this. It goes a complete circle. One person comes, one person goes. Everything happens. I agree. Your emotions would be attached. But you should know how much to limit it. So that you are able to healthily balance the situation. So that's how it is. That is why it is good. So you got to be clear. You got to be very absolutely fine in your wisdom. SRTs are checking on your maturity level. They are checking your approach to life. Your good expressions, writing should be exact to the point. It should not be very elaborated. Don't start doing a sermon there. Don't start giving a, you know, like Gautam Buddha gave a sermon to everyone. Don't do that. You're just supposed to write the responses. But then you will say, sir, you are explaining in sermon. I am explaining to equip your mind. I am not explaining to write all that. Is it clear? I am explaining you so that you can become intelligent and you can understand the reason why this answer has been given. But in your answers, you should be short and precise. Is it clear? Train your brain and train yourself as an officer. That's one of the things. In a pre-period he wanted to study, but his friends were continuously disturbing him and he. Now, if in a pre-period he wants to study, he wants to study, and his friends are disturbing, in case you feel that friends' company is always a pleasure, and you feel that the study can be done later, so you can delay that, join them. But if it is very important, then he will convince them. Suppose they still are, you know, in a different mood, then walk away, go to the library, study, do your job. Now that doesn't mean that you take out a rifle from your pocket and shoot them and say, now I'll study. So something, you have to find solutions among the circumstances. Either accommodate yourself with the circumstances or focus on what is to be done, then go ahead, do it differently. Now people will say, no, but I have a right to sit in the class and study. They don't have a right to do all this. No, don't talk about rights. There are a lot of rights. But what is the practical solution? You have to look and search it. Is it clear? Yes. All of you need to understand that. You have to look at practicals. I agree. Things should be very ordered. People should be told. I, I didn't say that your friends will not agree. If you are convincing, they will agree. 90% they will. But still, if you find that they are in too jolly mood, sometimes people are in a merry mood. Maybe somebody is having a birthday, so everybody is celebrating. And you want to study because you have to do something. So then you just walk up and do your things and come back. Now, suppose you feel a washroom in the class. What are you going to do? You're going to do the washroom, right? You're not going to do it there itself, right? So, simple answers. My logic is not to 
give you fantabulous answers. My logic is to knock knock your brain because it's already there. Just sleeping a little bit. Come back to senses. Write it all and do it. But please also develop your expression power in terms of speaking so that you are able to relate with. So I'm saying something right, but I'm not able to speak. Then you are doing a mistake, right? So remember, very important. Is it clear? Yes, sir. That's it. As a friend, now the answer is as a friend want to join him, he will check if necessary, then convince them, or why he needs to study. However, if not very necessary, then join them and let us study. Even the third option can be written that if he finds that still they are in merry mood, read the circumstances, react according to that. Move on, go to some other place. Am I right? Yes. Now, one of his class girls had wrongly reported against him to the principal for abuse of language. Now, look at, listen to that. Wrongly reported. Wrongly means it's very clear that he is not abused, but the girl is misunderstood. Now, there are some people who will interpret that the girl is basically jealous of him. The girl has something. Now, where is the, who has told you that? This kind of misunderstandings can happen anytime, anywhere, any place. So at that point of time, being patient and solving it is important. So now the answer is, as this class girl is wrongly reported, he'll approach her, clarify the misunderstanding, find out who said so, and clarify and solve the matter. You're getting the point? So when you have identified, you will identify what did I say wrong? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I did this, whatever. That you can do, but I'm explaining it. But in writing, you have to be short and precise. You can't, you're not going to write a complete story, right? So you have to be very expressive and short, precise in your speech. So you can say that. Solve the matter with the principle. Explain what you basically want. And what? Is it clear? That is something what it is. You have to be mature to keep moving. You don't have to take it as an animosity. Now I'll, I'll take revenge with that. Yeah. There are many things else to do. World is a very, very big place. You will not be valued some places, but the other places you will be treasured. So just look at that place, rather than wasting your time and unnecessarily fighting with people. Right? So go ahead. The last day for submission of application form came, but one of his testimonial was yet unattested, and the club refused to accept his application. So what are they trying to do? Then number one, they are seeing how will you manage in crisis, number one, they are checking. They are also seeing that in that context when you have crisis and there is a blockage, how are you going to think at that point in time? Yes or no? You are also negative because you have not done it. So now what are you going to do? There are some people who like to bribe the clerk, not the right way. Yes or no? But generally, if you are genuine and humane in your approach, you will certainly request the clerk and ask him for a few more minutes. A rush to authority because authority is always in a position to accept and they are the right people. Go to authority, go to senior professor, request, tell them that they can attest and uh, immediately keep some things. You know, there are times when you are in emergency, you can keep your treasured mobile with someone that, okay, I'm coming. So you are confirmed, I'm going to come back soon and then get it and get it tested. Am I right? How do you get testimonial attested? You show the original and then you get it attested. That is what happens. Testimonial means certificates or other things. So if you have not, if you have not got the originals and suppose they are saying it is not yet is, so you will request him to submit and promise him that you are getting it in case he is not ready to do it because of this. So submit some things which assure him that you will come. And then you tell him that in case I don't come, then please go ahead with reject it. But I'll come and then rush back, get the originals. So now here you are that Juar thought process, the thought process of solving, the thought process of using brain to solve is showing. There are some people who surrender. I'll agree that this is there, so next time. Never mind, next time. Yes or no? Why? Why not try that time? In SRT, you have all the freedom to write and think of that thing. Maybe in VRT, VRT means verbal reaction test, when an interviewer will ask you, then you may have to give different examples. Yes or no? 
that is the answer is it clear yes. i hope you guys don't get tired because some of you are already looking uh, pretty on that sleepy mood don't do that because otherwise you will miss the logic and i know that's why many a times in some of the classes i had to literally remove the air conditions because air condition when it gets very comfortable along with if you mix it up with certain point fans oh my god it becomes very relaxed so please guys in the class pay attention and keep your senses alert is it right and your attention now we come down you know required at the varanasi you no know, see i was talking about the same thing earlier he was required in varanasi at the earliest but when he reached the railway station the train was over and he had a 48 hour journey to travel to cover it is written cover please correct it it is to cover now what do you mean by cover means that he has to go a long journey now the train is over crowded there are people who will say why should i travel and he is required to reach early now he will say he will tell those people i can't come bad out bad answer he will if it is very important then he can buy a air ticket and go possibility but now here some people will think why should i waste money but some people will revalue their responsibility their reputation maybe they will spend it one answer but whenever you cover a situation you have to think like a table what do you mean by table that you should give two three four options so that your table is balanced it should not be this that the table is unbalanced no table can stand on single stick and if it will then it will fall so whenever you think of situations then you can think of one or two options that is my advocacy though if you are in the last stages like you know you have got the last few minutes and you have to rush up with the srts then maybe in the last you can write one liner also one action just because they will tell you just before they are about to know okay last two minutes three minutes five minutes if they announce in our time they used yes or no okay last few minutes so we should start writing one liners you can do that so that you can take your decisions fast and good but in many of them i feel one should be able to conceptualize at least one or two answers two to three answers would be right because that is how you will be able to cover up the situation completely that is something which you want to do now and remember emotions are important but they need to be balanced reactions have to be practical sensibility has to be supreme maturity has to be there i don't believe be you know in the sense uh, what should i say that you about everything no not required you should be able to do it is it clear or not clear so remember that now as required earlier if flight available go by it or else continue with the same train manage it general compartment back in seat in journey and reach early now you would say why should i travel in journey in between you will get it have positive hope you'll be able to resolve in the tt it's 48 hours journey maybe after a few stations you will say that there is one seat possible so now and even if you can't you are required 48 hours journey is not something which will make you from present to past it will never so your tolerance your stamina your understanding your sense of responsibility your sense of duty everything is put to test simple as rt but so many qualities tested yes or no so one has to understand that so your approach should be right i don't understand why your approach should be wrong it was 2 o'clock in the early morning when you started to find a big cobra near his brother's spot he will now see started means getting surprised or in a shock man you should do at that point in time take a stick take a claw move the cobra away away enough make sure that it doesn't climb the claw it doesn't go there keep tapping keep pushing it so once it is away then wake your brother because when you will try to kill it it will dance around yes or no 
and as a result now that you both are awake then you can trap him and kill him now with snakes you don't have to behave like like you know human beings excuse me can you please leave the room you cannot do that the snake is not going to understand that language the snake has only one solution that you'll have to kill it suppose the jungle is nearby immediately close to that door then okay you can push it let it go to the jungle and next time make sure that place that no more snake enters or also clear some more grass area and if you find a place where snakes are hiding burn it now you will say sir human beings ecology come on fit here there are something which will be deadly to human civilization you cannot think of ecology at that point of time yes ecology comes when you will when you will go on a spree to kill all the snakes in the world that is wrong you can only safeguard some areas is it clear so here you have to do that so the answer says that the cobra is near his brother squat firstly with stick claw the sector move cobra away from brother squat and then with brother kill the cobra with their fist now i think that's reasonable and i hope you all people will understand because it's a sensible way to react we come down to the 10th one they were driving by train when one of the compartments caught fire he saw people trying to jump off from doors as well as windows emergencies happened fire is on imagine they're jumping that means the fire must be high and they are also going to kill them so there also so you got to be not only very cool quick but also tell them not to jump and immediately pull the chain i don't know if you guys are practical enough to understand that between two compartment there is a pipe which is called the vacuum pipe so if you remove that that works at the chain automatically the vacuum is the air comes out the vacuum you know the air moves in the vacuum is disturbed and the train comes to a standstill so you can do that stop the train immediately as the train stops then alert the other railway authorities vacate the compartment try to arrange water from the toilets or other places to make some place at least safer where people can move instead of jumping out right now this is an imaginary situation you can imagine here you can imagine godra kant the godra incident that everything is burning and now nobody is going to survive you can also imagine that some people get moved from some places to safer places am i right you also know that if you wear a blanket if somebody has a blanket you wet it in water and you wear it now there can be n number of imaginations but there is true reactions would be the right ones which we are talking which will come instantly now you have some phenomenal reaction and you write it suddenly that over smart thing so it does not seem logical so you have to go common sensical in your approach step 1 step 2 step 3 you getting the point there are some people who goes directly to step 10 step 12 and their answers seem impractical or presupposed rather than logic so i think that if you go logical it will be a beauty but if you go illogical i think you are doing something you getting the point so that is something which you guys have to remember and have to understand in your situation you have to test i thought i'll go by 10 but let me add five more so that you guys can get some more ideas i'm sure that it will help you to open your mind to reasonability as art is only to check your reasonability maturity understanding whatever many of them are very funny lately few girls went and they were asked during their interview very uh, i mean very controversial topics right from gay marriages to you know live in relationships and other things now you will say why they are asking they are not asking for any but but they are asking for a maturity level the level to understand that in spite of all these odds we need to keep our path straight but if we tend to be edgy about things then there is a possibility that we will not be able to be matured in our hands that is all they ask there are people with all the sensibility and they know that you are going for an pan india profession that means you will be traveling 
all across India and sometimes now that military exercises are taking place outside, you will be also travelling international. And when you travel international, what will happen? What will happen? You will get these things. You will have to face these things. You don't have to overreact to it. But you also have to have a clear definition of things. So rather than getting disturbed and overreacting or becoming totally aberrated, it is better to be matured to handle. Is it clear? That's it. So the answer which comes here, as the people are jumping, stop them from doing so. Pull the chain, stop the train, vacate compartment, control fire and save. Is it clear? This is the way you should answer. And by doing this, what are you doing? You are showing sensibility, you are showing intelligence, you are showing relevance. Is it clear? Doubts should not be there. Clear? So whatever you are doing, do it with the right thing. Now you will go to the 11th one. In a group discussion, some of the people were not agreeing with him. So you. Now if somebody does not agree with you, there are some people I have seen, whenever they get into the group discussion, they start discussing illogical things. They start taking everything personal in a different way. Even general statements, they will start attacking you. What is the problem with them? They are mentally ill, actually. They live in uh, unusual thought process. I want to teach you something about psychology. That there are some people who suffer with inferiority complex and superiority. Now what is inferiority complex and superiority complex? Let me explain this. You know, when you compare yourself with someone, you may feel I am inferior. You never feel so. You are your own beauty. You are your own personality. Rather, from them, pick those qualities which you want to imbibe and develop it. Why feel that I am less than the other person? Humility is okay. Being polite is okay. But thinking that you are a very poor person and you can never improve in your life? Very fatal, very harmful, very deadly. Am I right? And very negative. You should see yourself with a beautiful eyes. You should see yourself with strength. Trust me. There have been a number of people, sometimes people, when I will sometimes show you my early photographs and other photographs, you'll find, sir, oh my God, how many great changes, evolutions, right? Why? That does not mean, why when I was looking very smart, with a lot of hairs, thick, dense hairs, looking young enough, looking smart enough, then people were after my life. You try to become a hero, you try to dress up as a hero, I, I wonder what the people are after. You, you would choose dress to look hero, I, 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 I sometimes don't understand these kind of claims. Such silly, such childish, such full of jealousy, such full of animosity. I mean, I can't even express how it was. Whereas I was not commenting anything, I was allowing others to do whatever they wanted. Then came a time when I am like this, then people will get after me here also. You are trying to impress others. Where am I trying to impress? Problem is the projection of the others will never change. You try, try satisfying your enemy, never you will. You will never, because the person will get after you in every conditions. So if you guys sitting here don't realize the beautiful, beautiful doesn't apply to girls, please. It applies to everyone. Beautiful is anything which attracts us, which gives us happiness. Even a beautiful friend's company. Any company of a friend, two genders, they find it beautiful. Now, that is why you think gay marriages are related to their physical activity. No, it's a mental phenomenon. They are fed up, they don't want to go into a process which can complicate their mind. So they are preferring. So, but unfortunately, yes, why is the government opposing? Very rightly, if these kind of practices are developed, 
then the youth generation will suffer already japan japan what did they do because they got fed up with uh, the mental agony of treating their kids managing the things they went for no kids and a lot of generation did that now what is happening the present time the youth generation in japan is bare minimum so what will happen to the legacy of the country then after some time there will be nobody in japan so i think time to go leave india land to japan yes or no so that is why the japan is worried similarly in the gay marriages lesbian marriages of this kind of psychological trauma which is disturbing people they'll continue then what will happen there will be no future children for the country then so what will happen of the country so that is why these tendencies are being advocated as wrong you getting the point if we encourage a tendency what will happen it will have far effects and people are not going for these marriages because they are mentally disturbed only mature people can understand this some people who are immature or very narrow minded they can only think stupid but people who are mature can understand that sometimes traumatic experiences by observing by seeing gender alliances finding that the lady is getting on top with blah 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 termag and virago harid and what so many words people get fed up i don't want the company or i don't want to get married right and if i'm getting married if everybody is after me for a social institution for company okay i'm doing this sometime maybe a girl has gone through trauma or a sin trauma maybe at home itself so they do go for such kind of thing and then they want to live for that period of time but why is government opposing is it because of some tendencies no it is doing it because they are realizing that if these tendencies are encouraged and such marriages become universal then tomorrow there will be no new generation for the country so i'm also giving you a point for a group discussions you can understand the perspective be mature to rise up to the occasion don't talk silly come on it's time you grew up go to cosmos people are they get such a good exposure that they are quite matured well beyond time so maturity is just a thought process you are here i'm educating you and more you learn more wiser you become i am not here to create controversy i am not interested in anyone whatsoever i am here only as a teacher and if you understand that then you will understand why law military academy kept rocking for 35 years yes corona time we stopped we didn't want to do set low standards so we didn't rush in digital we are coming now and when we will come we will come our team will come i have been the faculty captain so it's my bloody duty it's my duty to set up standards so i'm working let me do it for a few more months years and i'm sure then you will have a rich legacy and of course officers will take over which are the people they are already ready with it i'll be soon connecting you to journals and brigadiers for your interview on the same platform but my job is to first create your infrastructure to that level that you can go and face them and enjoy your interview rather than lose your confidence so wake up all of you hope you understand now we come back to this in a group discussion some people will not agree with them so what are you going to do take a pistol from your pocket and shoot them is it no this is not the way it is done so what are you going to do is you're going to be a little silent listen to their points also there may be a possibility that their points are logical maybe they have certain data which are good but by being silent you will do two things at the same time first you will be able to listen to their points number two you will be able to evaluate where you are going wrong or if you will be if you will give them time to speak they will also realize where they are wrong in speak so automatically with little patience with little intelligence alive you'll be able to come to some conclusion and of course when you make a bridge and the other makes a bridge 
then it comes midway, isn't it? So you all have to understand that. So as people are not agreeing with it, you'll understand what, why, and why, where they differ. Understand it logically, accept the good points. Convince logic and come to common conclusion. Convince the logic. How will you convince? Again, good examples, good theories, good points. Wherever you are in India, just learn the logic. I'm sure it will benefit your mind. You do not indulge in group discussion to prove who is superior. There are people I've already talked about, negative, nefarious people. Half knowledge people jump. Why is it that intelligent people often become silent? Because when they realize that it's a dead wall, they don't go there. I was very surprised. I want to explain you this beautiful incident. I went down to our commission and in Belur Mat, when I reached there, there was a big thing written that was Swami Vivekananda's statement, which was fools can never be educated. Trust me, that thing got me shocked. Because why? Because my impression about Swami Vivekananda is a man who wanted to educate the world. Who wanted to really bless the world with all the wisdom. So how can he be so negative that they can never be educated? So I did not agree with the statement from my inner soul. So I went down to the mutt uh, person sitting there, senior person. There were two persons at the evening time. They were they had just ordered for tea. They made me sit down. They said, would you like to join us for a tea? I said, no, but they said, no, you'll have to. You do trick tea. I said, yes, I do. And then they offered me. And then we got into a small conversation. And that was one of the most enriching conversations. And I, till date, Agree, agree, agree. Maybe uh, this thing has to be related to you. You never know when my telegram comes. So, what do we do in that case? I realize this, that if you are, you know, uh, talking to fools, they have blocked mind. They don't want to listen to you. So, anybody sitting here is here because they are sitting for education. You come all the way from home, whether they are sitting, they are sitting, they are sitting wherever, or even on sitting on the uh, live class. They are here. There are some people who may come, jump, go away. I can do nothing with them. Because according to me, they are fools. Not that they are totally fools, maybe they will be listening later, but there are some who would not listen. So they can never be educated because what will happen? My thoughts, once it goes to you, you're not going to be accepted. Okay, he said it, so I'm going to learn it. No, no, no. You will filter it. You will filter it with your own common sense and logic. And once you will agree with it, then you will accept it. And that is the complete process of education. And I want it to happen this way. So that my education or my message should go deep and clear to you. Not just for the sake of saying it. Am I right? So when fools who are already close their mind, they don't want to listen to you. They want to only oppose you. They are born to pull you down. They always want to put some silly logic. Come off it. Time's come. Tell them bye-bye. Yes or no? So the same thing, you guys, when you're opening the mind, you're understanding the examples. I'm sure you learn. So in this also, when people argue with you and they don't want to listen to you, what are you going to do? You're not going to shoot them. You're just going to tell your points to the people who understand you. And this is the way it should be. Every one of you should understand that group discussion is not to prove superiority, please. It is only to come to a common conclusion. And in common conclusion, logic of everyone has to be accepted. Now you would say, sir, there is a foolish logic. Okay, in the conclusion, ignore it. But listening to that poor chap is important. Otherwise, the poor chap will feel that you are not listening. Go back to the Havanas, which uh, used to happen in the olden Vedic period, when Rama and you know the saints used to worship both the Devas and Asuras. Because they used to tell them, please, good God, please help us do our prayers. And Rakshasa demons, please don't disturb us in the prayers. So same thing applies to you. Having good relations with the right people 
both negative and positive, in a limited manner is important in life. Yes or no? Agreed with the demons little less, but at occasions giving them regard and staying away from them is important. You are not going to see a demon and start throwing stones on the other person. The person will come out to your life because he's, he is born idiot. Yes or no? So where is your wisdom God? Wake up your wisdom. I am sure you will do wonders. So all of you please understand this. So as people are not here, you will understand what, why and where they differ. Understand it logically, accept the good points, convince logic and come to a common conclusion. Is it clear? Now we come down to the 12th. He fell seriously ill just before his examination and he. Now here they are looking at your quitting tendency. There are some people who say, okay, leaving, thank you. Why? Because they basically use that occasion. But there are some people who fight back. So, so what? Some days are there, some hours are there, and there are people who have bounced back to life. So he is ill, he will get the medical attention. Now the medicines also, they are not going to take years to cover up. You are just ill, so at least you will become reasonably well to go and give the examination. Yes or no? So if you have taken the medicine and you are reasonably fit to give the examination, go ahead. Meanwhile, keep preparing while in bed also or you can request your relative to please read out and you keep listening quietly and as well as getting well, keep revising your mind because mental is on, isn't it? Now, that doesn't mean that you are real so you are doing some physical work, no. You are real so you are lying there but your mind is on so you can keep revising and after he gets that reasonable recovery, he can go and give the exam the best way possible. May not get the best of marks but Quitting? No. Nah. Quitting is only surrender. Army doesn't surrender. Army may return only to recoup and attack. But surrender is not a style of the armed forces. They get back, they step back. They step back for what? To reorganize and fight. Everybody did it. Yes or no? Only the but you losers just surrender and oh no no not my worth got it well there are many people who also use other soldiers to fight but they have no courage of their own they use others they manipulate others they literally mis mistreat others am i right it's fine now we come down to the third 13th situation there was a rush at the platform and the train was about to start but the pulley carrying his luggage could not be traced now here they are giving you a vague idea that the coolie is a negative guy. But they are not giving you a specific idea it is correct. Now here your perception comes. If you are a negative person, in perception you will believe that coolie has gone. And if you are a positive perception, what are you going to do? You are going to think that, okay, coolie is not traceable. Let me stand on a higher place, find him out, help him, rush and carry. Yes or no? Worst come worst, let's take it, it was a he ran away. Then what are you going to do? You must have learned by now, all of you must have learned that every coolie has a badge number, generally. And now the coolie system is more regulated. You have such a big mobile, I don't understand why you practically don't, while you're walking, you keep using your mobile and take a selfie, in which you have quietly captured the photograph of the coolie also. How practical, how beautiful. And once you have it, though, he is not run away, but just as a precaution, he is just talking and you have taken a small this thing. Don't you think it will help you? Though this is for a practical purpose, not to write here, but for a practical purpose. And once you have it, so in case that guy zips up Zeus, you can always catch him. Yes or no? So here the same thing is, you have to go systematically. Learn to be smart. Kids, you all have to be very smart. You kids for me, we have a good amount of difference of more than 35 years between me and you. And the idea behind this is only to educate you, to make you stronger, to make you wonderful and make you a complete person. And that will only be possible if you listen, you understand. Yes, one day a miracle will not happen. You will go, you will think, you will realize in practical condition, you will find it very applicable. You will become strong, stronger, strongest. 
and probably by the time you reach my age, you'll be much, 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 much more smarter than you. And it will be a blessing. Anyway, we'll get back to this. Now, the pulley is not traceable. Stand at the compartment door. Use the eye. Find him and help him to get the cue. Luggage. And quickly before the train starts. And in case he gets late, you can write that also in case you want to write. And in case he gets late, then and in case you, you see it's not possible, then get down from the train and later catch another train to the same venue. Yes or no? 14 question. He had gone for mountaineering with his friends and the leaders chose a rather steep track. Steep track means something which is going right up and which was very slippery. Extremely cold and one of the party slipped right into a crevice. One of the party means one of the person in your team fell into a deep crevice. Crevice is a deep hole in the mountain zones, right? So it's fallen. What are you going to do? Priority first. Immediately walk up a solution to get him out. Possibly help in tying rope. Either himself along with the other team go down, help him, tie him, get him pulled in the pulled up, and thereafter rush him for the first step. And after this is done, now there are some people who will, at this only, they will start cursing the leader. Why did you choose this time? Instead of solving the problem. Now what is there to be solved has to be solved. So do it. And once it is done, then what will you do? Then thereafter, now that you have seen that he has fallen down, what will you do? Be extra careful. Be extra careful. Or if you find that it is still not possible, it is going to be very, very risky, then modulate the route. But deliberately quitting is not important. Carefulness is important, right? So that can be a mutual decision you can do. So here I have given the answers. One of the parties fallen into crevice, crevice, sorry. He along with his friends will rescue him, give treatment, drop him back into the camp. Now climb carefully and complete trip with the leader. Got it? Now we come down to the 15th. Whenever his opinion differ from that of others, I've already said that. Whenever your my opinion differs with you, what should I do patiently? I should listen to you. Because now, as I've told you, we have a difference of 35 years. There's a full chances that you may be having some cross-cultural difference, even if you are same aged. There may be a perspective difference, even if you are same aged. There may be a practical thought difference, even if you are same age. Am I right? So what do you do in that case? So you'll have to be peaceful. Listen to the other spirit. Listen to the logic, what the other person says. You appreciate it, pick those points. You do not appreciate it, then convince your logic. Whenever you convince any point on basis of logic, it will get accepted. I agree. I, I agree that some will be fools, when in that case, you can say sorry, I have already explained. And that sorry is not because you are wrong, but because you are feeling sorry for the other person. Yes or no? As his opinion differs, you will understand other point, viewpoint. If logical, accept it, tell all logic and come to a conclusion. Yes or no? So now we have done these 15, I am sure these 90 minutes have been very exhausting for you all people. But I'm sure you must be picking up the SRT is not exactly an exercise for just simple answers. It is an attitude approach which you have to do. I'll be giving you more of them. I'm sure the attitude will improve. You learn what is a complete officer. It's a personality. It's a thought process. It is a complete system of maturity. And you will rise up to that. So it's clear. Thank you so much for all of you for this live class. So some of you will carry on with the other sessions. I'm already repairing the app to go into more details in the app. Whereas in these live classes, I'd like to give you examples as much as I can and hope that benefits you. Thank you very much.